Hello, and welcome to a series I'll be calling FTG Tips and Tricks. Now, what prompted me to start this series is I just recently published an in-depth tutorial on the Tesla app. And after publishing that video, there were a few things that I not only discovered, but there have also been some new additions to the app as well. And I thought this could be a great resource for people to go to from that video and then get more information on the app. But then I thought, wow, this could actually be a great resource in general about the Tesla Model 3, the Y, and maybe even the S and the X. Of course, I've got the Tesla Model 3. So I will be putting this in a playlist I'll be calling FTG Tips and Tricks. So be sure to keep coming back here to this playlist to see if I have any new additions to it. And I plan on, at the very least, to add a new one once a week, maybe a couple a week, and sometimes maybe it may take longer than that. I have a family and I have a full-time job, and that can sometimes make things a little busy around here. But again, at the very least, hopefully I can get at least once a week published to this playlist. So let's get right to the first topic, and that is gonna be, of course, the app. I'm gonna open up the Tesla app, and I'm gonna show you that there are four quick controls that you have right here just below the car. So you can see I've got the frunk, home link, lock, and climate control. Now, if I want to change or rearrange those, I can do a long tap on any one of the icons, and a menu will pop up. You can see the four that I have in there. And then of course, below that, there's a line right here. Below that, you've got all the other options. So first and foremost, I'm gonna show you how to rearrange. Let's say I want the climate control where home link is. I'm gonna put climate control over home link. Now home link and climate control basically swap spots. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back. Now, one of the things that I discovered is that you can actually have more than four icons here. You can actually have five. So that's a little tricky though, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. First, I'm gonna show you where trunk is. I got trunk right here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag it, and drag it as far to the right as I can. Now you'll notice, I just keep trying to drag it to the right, but nothing is happening. So the way to make that get as far to the right as you can is you give it a little help with your left finger. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my left finger, let go, now you'll see all five icons are in there. So to make this hold, you press save, and now you can see I've got the five icons in there. Now one of the things to take note, you'll notice when we look at the widget, it doesn't change from four to five. So the widget will always only be four. And what it does is it only saves the first four in your list. So when we open up the app, you can see the first four here. Now the last one is climate control. So let's say I want the trunk to be there instead. So I do that long tap. I just swap and put the trunk right there. So the first four now has the trunk at the end. I'm gonna go ahead and press save, and I'm gonna go back to the widget. You see how the widget has now changed over here to the trunk. Now, another thing I'd like to mention is that some people have noted that they can get more than five. Some, some have mentioned six, even more than that. Now, the most I've been able to get is five, but you can keep trying to get more in there if you want, and you might get lucky. Now, I'm not exactly sure why some can get more than five and why others can't. It might have something to do with iOS or Android, but I'm not exactly sure. But at the very least, you should be able to get the five icons in there. So I hope this was a helpful tip for you. Thank you all so much for watching, and you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and stay positively charged.